Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So I'm in the middle of a snowstorm up here in Canada, southern Ontario, so I got the day off of work. Uh, they don't want us driving in, which is a great thing. So I got a little bit of time to do some recording, so I'm going to take the uh, time to do that today. Um, so today let's have a look at a couple things. First of all, let's go into the barracks. We've got some experience now for our pilots. So um, for our main pilot, Bobby, we're going to take gunnery for sure. Confirm this. And both Ronan and Spanthia have got um, the ability to take stuff. So I'm going to go gunnery, I think, on both of these guys to start. The range increase and the base weapon to hit, I think, is really important right now. So we're going to confirm this. I'm still not liking the the money we're paying per month. Um, like just going this route here, right? So 30, sorry, 37, 8. Going to 39. So it's, you know, it's slowly going up. Um... Our cost for these pilots so we're still looking for more I know they're really low ranked pilots right now but the low the base cost per month uh, over time is going to really help out so we're still looking for some more of these pilots um, but we'll wait for a bit so we've got another mission here we can take so let's go to our, our contracts and before we leave this planet, I think we're going to do uh, Dead or Alive. It's only a half skull mission. I've been kind of toying with a few things. Right now, we're, we are trying to get more uh, reputation with uh, House Kurita. And the more, like, these would probably be better to take. Um, but it is against House Kurita. So we're going to take this one right now. We still might get some good salvage out of it, but we'll see. And then we'll jump planets um, and see what else we can get here. So let's go Dead or Alive. And we're going to go full salvage because we do have enough sea bills for the end of the month. So let's accept this. And let's bring in the... Uh, why are we missing a mech here? Oh, right, because we have one in the repair bay. Do we? What? We do, right? No. What's going on? Uh... I have no idea why... Oh, it's the pilot! Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, man. It's early in the morning. I'm tired. I'm like, where's our other mech? Yeah, duh. All right, so we'll leave these guys piloting this. We're going to put Sunflower in the Hunchback. The Hunchback has not been performing as well as I was hoped. We have a good idea how we're going to just kind of fix this here, I think. Um, but right now, we're going to just uh, run with it the way it is. Um, and let's deploy this sucker and get it done. Alright guys, here we go. Single target, but you know, how often do we ever do a single target? Looks like a Jenner. Should be no problem. We got guys on the left, but do we have guys on the right? Usually there's sometimes reinforcements from here. Uh, we're going to go straight down this little road here, or pathway. Usually I like to flank. I think we're going to go down here though. Ah, nice and rough terrain. I'm sure I'm going to get words for that. Alright, let's move. So, um, I think we were thinking about putting the mask system into the hunchback to give it some speed. Um, but uh, Fists of Dorn brought up a good comment. Maybe putting the mask into the Wolverine and make it a really heavy striker unit might probably be the best way to go. Since the fact that it's got so many guns on it, or so many weapons on it, um, getting it in on enemies um, faster for either rear attacks or frontal assaults um, is probably a better way to go. And I'm thinking he's probably right. So we'll have a look at that right after this mission before we travel. Okay, I'm going to get on this side. I know we're hitting all the rough terrain here, guys. Just bear with me. Alright, Flowers, get over here. At least you'll get some experience now. So... We could just try and isolate and hit up the main guy before the reserves come in. I don't like a, 
the idea of all the reserves hitting us in the flank. Uh, so we're going to go after the reserves first and smash that Jenner when it appears. Alright, so we got some range here. Spider, Jenner. Uh, Jenner's probably more dangerous than the Spider. Most likely. I hear ya. Uh, just because it carries more weapons, that's the only reason. So I want to employ our flamer unit a little more. We haven't really run a flamer unit in quite a while. Um, so I really want to, well, I mean, since the time when we had that uh, um, enhanced fire starter, which was putting out enhanced flamer damage, we haven't really had a good flamer unit. Uh, so I'm thinking that, let's see if we can trick out this fire starter to be a, a nice flame unit. Okay. No damage. So we also picked up that, um, I think, I can't remember that, LY or L something? Oh, it's an oxide. Um, so let's see. Um, Yeah, so we have the, the SRM ammo, the bonus ammo for the, uh, bonus to hit ammo for the Wolverine, which we'll probably drop in. Um, the thing I'm wondering though, uh, is if that bonus ammo, if you need to stock, if you want more than one ton, if you have to continuously stock more than one ton, ton of it, or if it'll change the normal ammo over a while, that's a really bad chance to hit. Alright guys, sorry about the discombobulation there for a second. I needed to go out and shovel the snow. Um, it is starting to come down a little hard out, out here right now. Um, not so much snow now, it's mostly just uh, um, sleet, I guess. Uh, it's kind of half raining, half, not really hail, but I guess sleet, sleety, slushy rain right now, which is going to make the snow incredibly hard if we didn't get that up. It's supposed to freeze this afternoon, so we had to take care of that. Alright, so... Our, our chances to hit here were awful, so we're just going to reserve or end our turn. Okay, so large laser coming from the right. And somebody off map. Okay. I'm receiving you. Let's deal with this. We got an oxide coming in. Um, I think I want to deal mostly with the Jenner here. So let's do that. Let's get some eyes on it. And why does it say it's got two weapons out? Maybe jammed? Um, unless red is supposed to be something else, I thought it was weapon out. Okay. Unless we got lucky with a hit and crit them, but I doubt it. Alright, let's fire on this guy. Let's get in on this guy again. Hmm. I know I've got our, our back to the spider right now, but I'm going to take care of him in a second, I think. So let's do this. Okay, not bad. So I am kind of enjoying the fire starter build again. Alright, who's going next here? This guy. Oh, we got a guy almost off map here. Yep, yeah, let him be in the rear arc. That's why we put back armor on. I don't think we need to sprint this time. We're just going to move up. Um, I want to keep my torso's turn. I'm more worried about the oxide than I am with that spider. And I think 25 is an okay chance. Let's just dump everything into this uh, generator here and see how much damage we can do. Okay, nice. Hooray, death of the primitive engine. Let's get right on this spider. I think he's probably going to jump over and attack us from behind, but we're okay back armor-wise. We increase it 
So if he attacks this from behind, I don't think he can pen. Uh, 29, 35. Let's go on this guy. Oh! Here I was about to say, yeah, that auto can is not very accurate, and boom, he's dead. Yeah, man. I want oxide. I don't care about that guy. I'm thinking that's probably a commando down there, if I had to guess. Okay, we're right on the oxide now. Let's get right on this guy. Commander? I want us up his nose. So let's do that. So oxides are pretty cool. Um, two LRM5s and two SRM triple fours. That's a different loadout, I think, than the ones we faced before. Is it not? Triple plus SRM4s, though. Those would be nice for this assassin. Uh, or even downgrading the um, SRM6s on the Wolverine to those triple plus SRM4s, going with the bonus to hit ammo, and then adding the mask. That's a possibility, but let's see what we got off this guy. I don't know if we're going to get them. They're in his arms. We'll probably blow the arms off. Moonwalking. Yeah, it's okay. We're going to be getting the angle on him in a second. This guy is Wolfhound. That's even better. Good parts on the Wolfhound. Uh, depending on the version, I guess. If you, it's the version from our last episode, uh, or our last um, starting episodes. It's probably not that great, but that's which I think it probably is. All right, let's fire all of this stuff into this guy's backside. Okay, was not expecting that, but I'll take it. Which means those SRMs might have been left intact. Although it said left torso, left arm, I think. We may not get one of them. Commander. Okay, flowers. Miss flowers. You'll pay for this. Okay, firing. Roger. Yeah, it'll be nice to get that AC-10 off. I mean, it is a nice, big, heavy-hitting weapon, but at this point in time in the game, it's really super ineffectual. All right, let's stay in the trees in case he decides to jump over us. And we'll fire on this guy. I mean, I guess we could try and just bail out of here now. I mean, it will be better for salvage, I think, for us if we do that. So maybe we're going to do that right now. I think that's probably the best way to go. I haven't really been thinking that tactically in the past little while. I want to apologize for that, but I'm thinking we should probably start doing that a little okay. more. I think it's because I find when I play Rogue Tech, uh, like the Cold Forge and uh, Funky Steve's Medinas, when you're playing with mechs that are usually incredibly difficult to kill like right off the bat, <clears throat> I mean our mech wise, you kind of get this sense of a little bit of overconfidence. And then when you start playing against light mechs again, that overconfidence kind of bleeds over into that. Yeah, I may have to kill this guy. He's pissing me off. Let's just burn him. Burn him! We can leave the wolfhound behind. He didn't gain much heat there, did he? Four, oh, I see. It didn't go up. So the wolf found stuck in the valley down there. Ready for order. Let's go, girl. We're getting out of here. Going full, throttle. full throttle. We can kill this guy great. If not, no big deal. Barbecue Wolverine. Let's go this route. Yes, Commander. Copy that, Commander. This be good. I want to make this guy maybe run away. 
Don't know if he will or not, though. I hear ya. Maybe we can just shut him down here. On my way. Shut him down. Shut him, shut him down. Fire. This should be good. Yep, definitely enjoying those flamers again. That guy's not jumping. Nope. He's running. Okay, good. Now, I have no idea if he's shut down or not. Yeah, Wolfhound's effectively out of the battle. I wish the uh, AI would be a little better in pathfinding uh, with regards to mechs that are trapped below cliffs. I'm finding they don't... Um, these guys will never come up. I don't know whether they're not just looking looking for a path. I don't, you know what, we're not even going to bother shooting. I don't want to dirty the loot table here if we don't have to. I'm here. Let's make sure we're... Uh, you know what? I don't even know. It, that looks like it's in the uh, the hex, but I've been in a couple of situations before where it looks like you're in but you're not really in let's just try and make sure we are okay what are they doing spider uh, oops excuse me I have no idea one more turn and we're out here guys Oh, he was shut down. That's a bonus for us, and we don't have to worry about him. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's make sure we got room for everybody. Hooray! If he shoots, we're shooting back. Ah, uh, no, nah, we're not going to bother. We're out of here, so... As much as I love to go tit for tat, it's just not worth it in this situation. Alright, we're out here guys. Nice, let's see what we can get off that oxide. Alright, so we made 34,000. That should more than cover repairs, which are next to nothing. Uh, Sunflower will finally get some experience to raise her gunnery up one point, which is good. We got a little bit from the training module. Now, I'm not going to bother. Look at all these Jenner parts, man. Um, one Oxide part. Ah, well, no big deal. SRM Double Plus, we're going to take that. And FCS Missile Damage. You bet. And I think that's the best of the best here. Alright, let's see how many parts we get. So one, two, three, four Jenner parts. Okay, not bad. The two crappy medium lasers, which will sell. Rocket launcher five, 0.25 tons, six damage times five. Um, yeah, we might use it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. 9,000. Not bad. Well, 10. I guess you should be rounding this up. 10 grand. All right. So not too bad. We got one day of repair time for, well, the Wolverine's how many days here? Two days. So it's still financial report for that. Uh, but let's actually put that Wolverine up here. Then the Assassin, then the Firestarter, and the Hunchback will be in the bay. The last no, let's not do it that way. This will be four days of repair. The other day, the other way would be five days of repairs. So let's go this route. Um, so I'm gonna have a look at the store before we go here. I'm gonna sell a couple of junky things that we've got. We may want to invest in a few things. So, uh, Chaff Rocket Launcher 5, I know we bought that. Um, I should have not bought it, but it was so cheap. So we do have a couple of machine guns now. Do we? I don't think we have any ammo for those. I'm going to hang on to the Rocket Launchers for now. The fact that the Rocket Launchers have been increased to 6 damage over 4 from a few versions ago, I think is probably a good thing. It makes them a little bit more useful. Um... Going to hang on to our jump jets. Don't know if we're ever going to use them because of the way I play, but we may. So, actually, you know what? I don't think we need all of them. So let's just sell... Let's sell... Um, let's leave eight left. 
We'll be getting some, I'm sure, as we go along. But this will give a little, give us a little bit of extra free currency here. So let's see what we got to buy here. Um, I'd love to buy the endo steel, but I think we can get that at NSS. Really, for that price, we won't make our financial report if we do that. But that would be kind of cool. Powered sensors, increased sensor range, sight range, meh. Um, yeah, let's. We're not going to bother anything, get for anything from here. But we are going to have a look at our navigational star map here. So let's look. So the, has the map been reset? No, it's not been reset. Okay, good. So let's go. I was I wasn't sure if this was going to change or not from nine nine seven, but it looks like it hasn't. Um, maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section down below if. 997 and 998 map are still the same. So if I'm playing uh, Funky Steve's on 997, it's still the same map that we're playing on as 998. That would be interesting to know. All right, so we're going to jump to Miata, probably. That half skull, I think, is a good 11-day jump world. Um, yeah, it's a little bit much. Um... That's 22 days. I thought there was another world around here that was a half skull that was within half decent jumpable range. I guess I'm mistaking. Mistaking. Um, nine days, but it's not what we want. Soul. Good for when we get our mechs a little bit better. Yeah, so it really is here. Let's go just jump back to Miata. I mean, it is, it is a cold world, right? Terran world. Okay, it's all, that's all right. Just travel back there. Set course. Okay, so once we get these mechs back, which is right now, let's make some minor adjustments. I do want to try and hold on to... Um, let's pause here. I want to try and hold on to some of our C-bills so we have enough for the next financial report or pretty close to just in case we're devoid of really good contracts in the next world. So let's look in our base here. I think we really want to have a look at the Wolverine. Um, I th you know, it's been pointed out to me, and I, you know, it's completely true. The beginning of Night Witches, um, I did make a few tactical errors. Like I probably should have stripped the Irby early on and bolstered the Centurion. Originally my thought was... Um, the cost and the time to get it back was just so prohibitive I wanted to get into some fighting and get some gear but now I realize how slow it is to get that first bit of gear and it's going to be even slower now that we have specific ammo for specific weapons um, so we're going to be relying hopefully on well not hopefully but mostly on a lot of lasers and stuff early on until we can get some ammunition and stuff going with uh, the different weapons systems we have um, so yeah I want to start working on our heavier mechs first if we can um, just so that, I mean, if the Wolverine is super punchy, then, um, we can be taking down a lot of guys fast with the Wolverine, which I think is probably the best way to go. So yes, thank you for the comments. I, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but I have forgotten the, uh, name of the subscriber that has posted several times on the early Night Witches episodes. Apologize for that. Uh, I'll try to remember your name next time, but yeah, no, I, I, you know, I, I can't argue with the, the points you brought up, so... There it is, folks. All right, so let's pull the SRM off, and we want to put on, where are we here, the bonus SRM triple plus. Now, we got bonus damage on this guy. Um, let's actually take this one out. Um, now, the mask system, I think, is two tons, is it not? It's three tons, so we need to figure out, weapon-wise, what we're going to do with this. Now, we want to bring it in. Um, for the speed. Now we could take the small pulse out. Now uh, uh, I remember Fist of Dorn mentioning maybe we pull the large pulse out uh, eventually. Uh, at this point I think it's probably better if we leave it in. Um, I want to put the missile damage um, in this guy. Um, do I? I'm thinking now the assassin might benefit from this as well. Because right now the assassin's woefully underpowered. Now we do have a pair 
a few more SRM systems here. If we go back to the missiles, we've got a couple of uh, SRMs that we could drop into it as well. I mean, yeah, the bonus damage on that might help out a little bit. But then if you, yeah, you know what, thinking about it overall. Uh, so my initial thought was it will help out the assassin. But I'm thinking with this guy it's better because we have 10 SRMs on this guy. What's the addition of this is the addition of 10 points of damage whereas if we put two srm 2s into the assassin so that we have um, a total of uh, three srm 2s that's only a bonus of extra six damage so i'm thinking it's probably going to be better served here um, i'm wondering if because we have the increased damage okay let's pull out this srm ammo first so we want to put in the lk ammo here for accuracy now it's got a hundred shots okay that's good and I'm gonna put it out in the uh, does it really matter what leg it goes in it doesn't okay so let's put it on this side because I'm gonna be shielding my right side I think more than anything so let's do that um, our heat sinking is like garbage right now so we have to figure out what we're gonna do I mean I could pull out the medium pulse and I could shift that over to the assassin to help that out a little bit uh, we're getting increased SRM damage here um, and increased SRM accuracy so that's going to help out on this side if we pull the medium pulse we could move the small over to this side that's going to help our heat sinking by a huge margin increase our speed increase our damage overall uh, I think this is what we're going to do here now what I want to do though is uh, let's do before we go too much farther I'm going to reduce this and this by one and make sure our heads maxed out because I didn't realize it wasn't and I think I want to put a little bit more in the CT back because if we're going to be in close I want to make sure we got that protected really well so that's seven days so that's not bad we should have that back by the time we get to the next planet so let's confirm this okay so um, Hunchback. We were talking about refitting the Hunchback. So let's have a look at this guy too. Thinking the AC-10 can probably come out. Um, and two tons of animals. So that's like 14 tons right there. So we can put in the AC-5. It's not going to really give us... That's a, uh, has a jam multiplier. Recoil X modifier equals jam chance. Okay, so the recoil on this is 1. 5 jam modifier. So it means every turn that the recoil goes up, it, you multiply it by 5, and that's the percent that the, this weapon's going to jam. So the first turn of fire with recoil of 1, it's going to have a 5%. If it goes up to recoil 2, it's going to have a 10%. Recoil 3, 15%, and so on and so on. So the more recoil reduction you have with ballistic weapons, the, better, the less chance you'll have of uh, jamming the weapon. So that's something to keep in mind moving forward. So right now... Um, it's not that bad and it's going to give us increased range which I think this guy being so slow it's a little better having that increased range so let's drop the AC5 ammo in um, now if we're going to use this guy as a range platform the other thing to do since we do have five tons um, we could swap out one of the mediums with a, a uh, large laser for now and use this guy as a long range fire support platform right uh, our heat sinking is going to get you know murdered here uh, but I think probably that's gonna be okay because we're not gonna be firing everything all the time we can leave the two medium lasers off or if we're close we can leave off a large um, this is only six heat so I mean we can cycle out the large on and off and we're gonna have to do that with the AC anyway to reduce the chance of jam so uh, plus this laser weapons have plus one accuracy so this is like plus two accuracy in the arm for the large so I think if going this route for now is probably okay uh, so let's try this and see how this goes right. I'll get it the and the assassin was the other one we want I'm not gonna leave the cicada for now uh, I don't think we quite have what we need to get this thing up and running properly but let's have a look at the assassin now we do have more ballistic hard points so we could run more machine guns um, that's a possibility now do we have this is 200 rounds of ammo which is more than enough ammo we don't have a half ton, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so um, the other thing is pulling out the SRM. I mean, it does have a bonus to hit. Uh, but it's it's two tons. 
if we add like this is 220 this is like 330 right range yeah um, I don't know it's um, we have another laser point too so we could pull out the two S this SRM and put in a medium and two more machine guns um, for crit chance and stuff so we put a machine gun in each torso and then we put another medium laser in. Now our heat efficiency is going to drop. But once again, we're not going to be firing all the machine guns all the time. Oh yeah, the machine gun ammo's got to... Oh, there, there, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, it's early morning. Oh man. Um, I'm derping this. Alright, so yeah, let's... Or... If we pull these two out and put in the medium pulse in go for accuracy it's giving us a tiny bit more heat an extra two points because this is 18 heat not not 10 and 10 so less damage overall but plus two accuracy and to ignore two evasion pips so much better chance to hit so I think we're gonna try this I don't I mean it's a mart I think it's a moderate increase in firepower um, but the fact that we've got way more machine guns, we can try for head hits way more often. The same thing with the medium pulse. So let's try running this guy this way and confirm this. Now, let's manage our tasks a little bit here. So we want the Wolverine back. Now let's drop the fire starter down to here so we'll have everything back in nine days, right? So we have both of these bays running full. full. So the Hunchback finishes, the Assassin goes in, and then the fire starter follows up after the Wolverine. So that's going to give us nine days of time and how much time do we get there eight days so one day after we get there we're back into action which is great okay we'll have 20 days of uh, time before the financial report and that didn't cost us very much either which is good so there's definitely a huge difference between this version uh, well this start of night witches and the one that we started in 997 um, Let's have a look in the store. Uh, we do have the components actually to be able to do some stuff now, whereas before we didn't really have that many components to do things with. Command console, that figures. I'm interested to see how this works now because this was, it's six tons and four slots, so it does probably fill the entire head. Does it say where it goes? Cockpit life support and piloting system, so it must fill the whole head still. Okay, I was interested to see how they were gonna do that. But yeah, it is a full head thing. So four slots. Okay. Uh, end of steel again here. Reactive plating. Mm, bonus versus... Okay, so bonus versus ballistic and minus versus energy-based weapons. Powered sensors. Mm. Yeah, let's get small cockpits here, everybody. Great, great idea. Uh, LRM chaff ammo. Uh, MRM ammo. SRM machine gun half load. Oh, AC-20 safe. Five shots. But I think we need to have, each of these needs to be this to be able to work. It no longer goes across all ammo anymore. Okay, well, that's some, some stuff to consider if we make some good money on this planet. Medium BSPL. It's four time shots. See, I, I never use these for the longest time, but... Um, 25, because I was looking at 25 heat. It's got four shots. And it is, I know it is ignoring invasion pips, but it's basically the same as four medium lasers. So if you think about it in that regard, it's using up one laser slot. It's basically four medium lasers, except it's 15 heat less and a better chance to hit. So these things are like way definitely worth it. Um, so if you get VSPLs, definitely use them. Um, you can't, I, I, you know, it, the weapon damage does fall off, but because it's got, like this is a medium range one at max 330, you're gonna be close in anyway. So you wanna put these guys on that are gonna be like flanking and stuff. So those are always good. A pods. I mean, these we could put these these on the cicada. Eleven four, not a bad price. Two times t damage is ten times two, so 
two points times 10. Stability 0.75. So we fire on both, we get a good shot on them. Someone's back, could do a fair bit of damage, but we'll leave it for now. Um, okay, so let's have a look at our contracts and see what we've got going on here. I love the fact that they've got the contracts loading much quicker, uh, which is great, but I think you still need to click off and then click back on to uh, get the full population of, of uh, contracts. But that's fine with me. The, the fact that it just populates almost instantly now is, is perfect. So first thing we're going to do is look at the barracks, because we do need to upgrade our pods slightly. Uh, we are going to go for gunnery on her as well. Like I said, these pods will eventually most likely disappear. So, And we got gunnery now for Sunflower, so she's threes across the board. Okay, and we don't have enough for anybody else to do anything with, and that's fine. Okay, so command center contracts. Let's look for a one or one and a half skull that we can probably pull off here. So go down to one and a halfs first on guard. Nah. Last time I did one of these, there was two lances, not one. It says a group of pilots. So we don't know how many we're talking about here. It could be one, it could be two. Uh, I don't want to push it. I don't want to take too much damage. Insurrection, interception, assassinate mission. Get some good stuff off that one. Lost supplies, ambushing a convoy, contested will, capturing a base. We've done tons of base capture. Let's go after let's go after gear. Let's go for another assassinate mission and see how our things are running. We're gonna go full salvage again. I think this should more than cover our drop and repair costs. Let's accept. And um, oh the assassin's not back yet, sorry. So what happens when you have ADD guys like you just it's a nightmare sometimes, I gotta say. Doesn't make my, uh, you know, it's funny because people say, hi, if you got really nasty ADD, how do you function at work? It's like, well, my my job is completely visual, so I usually have no problems. By the way, I'm a video editor, just in case you're wondering. I've been doing it for like almost 30 years now. So, yeah. Assassinate, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. And deploy and get the sucker done. Oh, we left, we left Sunflower in. Oh, well. Okay, here we go, guys. Alright, we know this one really well. This was the remnants of the barbecued Wolverine mission, and we got... I really hope this isn't a venerable Bishop Steiner one, but it doesn't look like it is. It's an urban mech. Uh, I think that is a venerable Bishop Steiner. I really hope not. Uh, so that guy is like nasty ass weaponry. So it doesn't look like they've got reinforcements back here. Uh, this assassinate mission is generally relatively easy, especially if you have an easy target on the hill. It's basically rush them, kill them, and you can bail over here if you want. I'm here. I think probably, depending on what the, he's got as reinforcements, that's probably the route we're going to take. Um, once again, it's to maximize the value of the salvage we get. I'm usually not good at maximizing salvage. I just kind of like blow shit up and then whatever we get, we get. I gotta be more conscious of that, I guess. But, um, you know, in my defense, since I'm not choosing mech parts as salvage, I do often try and get as many mech parts out of the mechs that I'm facing to increase the chance of getting mech parts. Because if you notice in my later episodes, as we move along, um, we start, yeah, look at the mask on this thing. Look at it, look at it. Um, we start gaining mechs relatively quickly, like when we just start finishing them off really fast. Oftentimes we can pick up two heavy mechs in one episode, so um, in a way it can kind of be a benefit. I want to make sure this urban mech's not going to run up that hill and shoot me. I want to get into positions where I think he won't be able to target us right at the start, and then we can rush in and get him. So can we, we can get eyes on. Is that what we want? Not with this guy. Affirmative. Not with you. I still love the fire starters with uh, masks on them and all flamers. Yeah, it's a nerve he's going last. Uh, let's get into here. I don't want to take the wide range shots. We've been doing some, not overheating, but generating a fair bit of heat. So I want to get into like close range striking distance. Um, 
the exception of this guy, of course. Targeting and firing. Get that fire support mech working. R666. So this is the guy, I think he's got... I can't remember if this guy is a... He's just going to sit there, right? Eh? Um, why does that unsettle me? I don't know if this is the Devil, Devil's AC version, or if this is the Roger Venerable Bishop Steiner. It. No, it's the Devil. I think he's got a Devil's AC. So if we burn through this side... Okay, I'm liking the loadout on this guy. I think we really need to be close to have it fully effective, but I don't mind it. Now we got the reserves coming in. Good to go. They are like painfully slow. We cannot get into the forest here anywhere, can we? No, nope. let's just get down here. I don't think they'll be shooting at us anyway. We weren't quite ready enough to get up there, but he was going to move forward and shoot, and I didn't want that. We need to get initiative on this guy. Here he comes. Boom. So devil, do you think he's got a devil's AC and a pirate flamer? If it is the one I'm thinking. Um, we want to take his side apart. So let's do that. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see all these SRMs do. Actually, that's, you know, we were getting around 23 so or so percent to hit. I, I like that. That's not bad. Chances to hit. Uh, 11 damage with the SRM-4 is 9 with, or, yeah, 9 with the, uh, with the SRM-6. So, not bad. Let's see what we get here. Sorry, I hit the speed up button again. Gonna try to avoid doing that. There goes the left arm, so that's the flamer. Okay, AC2, most likely Commando. Or it could be a Blackjack, but one Skull, probably a Commando. I hear vehicles too. Received. Okay, Flowers. Miss Flowers. Um, yeah, just pot shots. If we can... Oh, he's not going anywhere. If we can find some more medium pulse lasers, um, what I'd like to do is take off the large pulse off of the Wolverine, put mediums on it, and maybe put the large pulse on the uh, Hunchback. Uh, okay, fire on this guy. Okay, there goes the torso. Okay, we got a flea coming in. No biggie. Good shooting though, I gotta say. Probably because, yeah, they got rear attacks on me. That's why. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, girl, you know what you need to do. Got it. Let's hammer this guy with everything. Got it. Well, two flamer hits. Saladin, we need to get out of here. I don't like. I think I like the Hetzers. Um, dislike the Hetzers worse than the Saladin. I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, hopefully, we can get initiative next turn and get out of here. But we're gonna take this guy down. Hopefully, so firing everything into his side. Okay, there we go. No, I don't know. Is it worth staying for more salvage than that? We're not getting much off this guy. So... Well, let's at least engage the flea, maybe. Yeah, we'll leave the autocannon off this turn. Fire the rest. Miss. 
That is a miss. Commander? Okay, we're gonna cool off a bit. Let's get down in here. Get away from that Saladin. Don't like that guy. If we can get him within quick strike range, we'll definitely take it. I hear ya. Down in here, please. Uh -huh. It's nice having these really fast mechs, too. I mean, look at the speed on this guy now. It's crazy. Just as fast as the light mix. I mean, it is increased weapon heat, but taking that medium uh, pulse laser out really helped us, I think. Commander. Confirmed. Okay, we got a vehicle coming along the road here, I think, but we're going to move up and brace. Comes that salad in. I think he's in strike distance now, so we're going to move in. Please coming back. Waiting for orders. So side of the Saladin. Most likely it's very low like low armored. Thirty-five ton. About fifty points on this side, so let's dump everything into him. Probably need to follow it up with an assassin attack, most likely. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Smoked up. You did. Let's go after this flea. Confirmed. I am moving into the open here just for a better chance to hit. Uh, the flea's not really that threatening right now. This a f just says truck. Could be a fire truck. That we'd have to worry about. Yeah, so we are heating up a fair bit on this assassin. Not to worry about maybe getting a double heat sink kit in here or something. Target this flea. And fire everything. Come on. Okay. So it's interesting that you can destroy the cores and the mech is still running. So I'm sure that's a bug that they gotta fix. Oh, we got somebody back here. He was back there. I wonder if it's like a pickup truck with a bunch of yahoos in it. Recoilless rifle or something. Nope. Chaff cloud, burning flare, sensor scramble. Okay. See what our chances to hit here are. Twenty-one. Point nine. Yeah, let's not take the point nine. We can take this one though. Um, since it's heating, let's leave one medium laser off. And fire the rest. Not doing a very good job of fire support over there. Yeah, well, low chances to hit don't help. Alright, what are you guys doing? Come on, bring it. Alright, where's Flea Bottom going? You got Ace Pilot, figure out where you're going, buddy. He's fleeing. But don't. It's a bad location to flee to because it puts us behind a hill and your buddies can't see us. Um, yeah, overheating already. Medium pulse is the best chance, so we'll leave two machine guns off. Okay, one hit, nice. Do I want to get out of this truck here? Uh, is there any other way we can see the flea? 
and not see the truck? I guess not. Let's get into here. I am trying to burrow through the sides of mechs now, rather than doing back shots, especially on these guys, because I want to try and ma once again maximize the salvage we can get. Uh, yeah. Just do it. So legs gone, torso's gone, arms gone, and mech's gone. Hooray! All right, 15 ton truck. It is Yahoo's. Um, what can I do for you? Well, there's anything wrong with Yahoo's, but there we go. Just not very effective. Pot shot. There's another guy up here somewhere. I don't know if it's a vehicle or a mech. I would have thought it would have been a mech. Commando, yeah, that's what I thought. With the AC2. Okay. Let's burn it down this road. Road, please. Road, please. Yes, thank you. Let's get up here as far as we can. Get a little bit of extra range. And we are completely inspired now. Gonna cool off a little bit. No point in pushing this. I mean, we could leave now, but I still don't think we've gotten the salvage we want out of this yet. Let's get it within striking distance. Pew pew the mech, I think. He will do no such thing. Okay, so this is a large pulse solution here. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Got a shot in the vehicle too. 37 with the large pulse. 37. Gotta shoot the mech. Well, it's a 15 ton vehicle. Maybe we got lucky. Let's fire in the vehicle. Yeah, I think these were rocket launchers that he fired. That would make sense now that I think back on that other mech that had two weapons that were out. It was probably rocket launchers. That would make perfect sense. The Jenner, I think it was, the last mission. Okay. Flowers, get up here. Confirmed. Cut off any movement for this side. Alrighty. Commando it is. What's up, buddy? Yeah, you know, good chances to hit on this guy, especially in close, so just gotta figure out the heat situation in this guy. Didn't really get a chance to use him as a backstabber today, though, which is what he's really designed for. Or I guess she is really designed for. Shouldn't be calling Max He's. Um... Not with the Night Witches, anyway. Wish we had uh, eyes on. I'd stomp this vehicle, but... Looks like a Katyushka. The old Russian trucks from World War II. Uh, let's... Make sure this guy doesn't shoot anymore. Yeah, fire it all. Wow, it's like tougher than some mechs. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I hear ya. I waited till I said that, and it was like, oh, we'll just prove you how wrong you are. It's not tough at all. So I'm liking the firepower and the movement speed of the Wolverine too. I think it's uh, for what we have. I think it's like good loadout. Can we get eyes on? We can. Oh, we got a target, all right, right here. Gonna fire everything. Never know those days, we might get lucky. 
I mean, yeah, we could put the large, um, the large pulse laser on the, the, uh, hunchback to give it even better chances to hit. Let's use this guy, what he's designed for. Let's do it. Um... Uh, Sure, why not? Good to go. We're designed as backstabbers. Let's run it as backstabber. He's got an AC2 with a minimum range, so just get in here and do this. Oh yeah, everything hit. Goodbye. Gotcha. Oh really? I'll see you guys at the outpoint. That vehicle, the Saladin we killed down there, uh, didn't count as a kill, so now we gotta run it all back. It is dead, but I mean, at least we got relatively speedy max. We're gonna be passing by the Hunchback on the first turn. I'm glad I didn't put the mask on the Hunchback like we were talking about the episode before, but um, he's so slow now. Alright, I'll see you at the evac point, guys. All right, guys, there we go. So a long, flat, open terrain. Looks like the Wolverine and the Assassin and the um, Firestarter can cover about twice the distance that the uh, Hunchback can. Um, okay, contract payment increased by 45%, which is excellent. 181,000, nice. Uh, no significant damage. The Wolverine took most of it. Um, yeah, I think they all perform really well. The exception of the Hunchback, we still need to figure out what we're going to do with this guy. Um, I think with uh, TTSs and stuff like that, we'll uh, better our situation with this guy. So yeah, this guy did have the Devil's AC-20, which is really great for income. Um, it's about 143000 or something like that to sell. If we don't find anything else down here worthwhile, that might be... Oh, patchwork materials... So, a spiked helmet is one ton now. Injury resist. Upper recoil. 10% of one tenth of the chassis weight. Minus one recoil with ranged weapons. So, yes. Um, that's upper arm recoil. So, this is usually useful on like an urban mech or anything with any with no weapon arms. Right? So, I want to take that. Because in the future we may have good use for it. I'm going to take this. Mm. AC20. Like, oh god. Ammo Ultra 20. What? UAC double. Ultra. What had an Ultra 20? Was it the Saladin? Is this Devil's AC an Ultra now? No. Recoil of six. Has six jam multiplier. So 36% chance to, f to jam on its first uh, fire. Then you gotta turn it off. Then you gotta turn it back on for another 36% chance to jam. And you gotta turn it off. <laughs> really? I mean, I guess if you don't have anything else, sure. So the question is, is do we want to take, like... Well, I think we can worry about this stuff later. This is nice, but I think we'll be finding a lot more of these. We always tend to run into them with pirates, so we'll probably find more of those. Right now, I think the patchwork materials has more value, and this will definitely have value in the future. I know we were saying we were going to take stuff that would have value now, but I don't really see anything... I mean, we could take the AC2, but eh, I think these are probably the best way to go. So let's confirm this. So we got an urban mech part. Eh, chaff, rocket launcher 5, medium laser, internal combustion engine, which we can sell. We did get the helmet. Okay, cool. And the AC20 ammo, so that's a bonus. Wasn't expecting to pick this up, but that's kind of nice. All right, outwards took Valsha from Davian. No big deal. Okay, so almost nothing. Almost nothing in damage, which was awesome. 
I like assassinate missions on that particular planet because it's just it. They're rel I mean, unless you're fighting heavier mechs and you got the reinforcements coming in from behind you, they're relatively easy to do. So yeah, we just have more days to spend getting our mech pilots back, but that's fine. We can go in six days, uh, which we'll do in the next episode. There's still lots of contracts here which we can take. Um, so I mean, we got contested will still, which is capture base. Lost supplies, ambush a convoy in the jungle. Um, I think we'll do this base capture first, and then we'll try the uh, um, lost supplies. I mean, this is we're facing basically two lances at once. So it's a little trickier, but not that much trickier. We should be able to do these without a problem. All right, guys. So I'm going to end the episode here. If you like it, drop a like. If you got any suggestions for mech loadouts, uh, maybe juggling some weapons around some more, I think, uh, to maximize our damage output and our potential, please drop it in the comments section down below. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and until next time, we'll see you later.